Hello, Pastor. My Hi. name is Billy. Hi, Billy. Uh, so me and some other guys are in uh, studying Revelation, and we need help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So at the, after, the, after the rapture and after the seven years after the great tribulation, when the new heaven and earth is made and the new Jeru Jerusalem comes down, and we go to live there with the, our creator. So that's not made yet. And now my mom and dad and all the believers are in a place with God. So are they going to move from where they're at to the new Jerusalem? And what's going to happen to the place that they're at now? And well, yeah, let, let's not get too carried away here. Um, Jesus said in John 14, I'm going to go and I'm going to prepare a place for you in my Father's house. And He said that then to them then. Um, the, the, the Word of God says, absent from the body, present with the Lord. Paul says, far better to depart and be with Christ. Uh, Jesus says to the thief on the cross today, you'll be with me in paradise. So heaven is wherever the Lord is. It's wherever the Lord is. That's why in the book of Revelation it says there, there's no need of light there because the Lamb is the light of it. So when a believer dies, he goes into the presence of the Lord. Um, that, that, that is perfect holiness, uh, perfect joy, perfect satisfaction, eternal life, uh, the absence of all that is sinful and evil and decaying and dying. It is the, the realm of things that are eternal. Now, through the plan of God, we know that there are ways in which God will design that dwelling place that are suited to His purposes. Um, for example, there will be a new heaven and a new earth, okay? That means that the final state of our eternal dwelling is at this point and not yet created. It's not yet created. It will not be created until the complete abolishing of that which exists. That's why Peter says in 2 Peter 3 that the elements will melt with fervent heat. Now th this is basically an atomic implosion. Uh, the Lord created the entire universe out of atoms. That, that will be an uncreation in which the entire universe as we know it, that is everything material in it will be out of existence as fast as it came or even faster than it came into existence, and in its place will be a new heaven and a new earth. Uh, all, all that that is saying for us is this, currently the, the realm of God, the dwelling place of God where God is with holy angels and is with His redeemed people is still in a universe, though in another dimension, it's still in a universe that is corrupt. So the final eternal state will be a universe with no corruption because the current universe will go out of existence. So I, I, from the standpoint of the believer, the, there won't be some kind of angelic van showing up in front of their current house to move them to a new neighborhood or a new city. And all that, all that the, the New Jerusalem is, is sort of the capital city of eternity the throne of God. That is to say that there, there actually will be a throne of God. It is described for us as a cube, I think it was a 1,500 miles cubed, uh, the capital city of the new heaven and the new earth. It, it, uh, it is, you uh, could say right now that it, it already is designed, it may already be fabricated in whatever way God has done that, but it will eventually become the capital city of the new heaven and the new earth. That's all we need to know. Again, we, we can't get any further into understanding all of that than what is in Revelation.